Hey, how you doing? This is going to be a very basic quick video about a fresh WordPress installation, which is what we have here. No plugins, theme, nothing really installed. Just going over some key settings that if you make sure you do this from the get go, it's going to help you out in the long run. Now, the very first thing that happens when you load up a fresh WordPress installation is you have all of this gunk. I hate all of this gunk. OK, first thing I'm going to do is click screen options over here and I'm just going to get rid of all of this. The only time when I care about any of the content on here is after I've loaded through, say, some SEO like rank math or something like that or WooCommerce products and you want to see how many sales you got then it's pretty good. Otherwise, a lot of what you get here is gunk and I don't have time for all the news. I can read it myself. What I want to do is just go through some motion. So I like to click on post and I like to actually get rid of any previous like post that's loaded through by WordPress. You sometimes have a media image. I like to get rid of that and I like to go to pages and I actually like to get rid of both of these as well. I like everything to be super, super clean. I don't need any distraction. Then I'm going to go down to settings. This one is pretty important. And when you go over to general, this is where you want to make sure that your website has got HTTPS. So if you have done this with via your hosting provider or have you do it, as long as there was an SSL certificate installed as part of the installation, this should have S in. If not, if you can see an S up here where you have your URL, but you can't see an S here, go and put the S in because it might look like that. Make sure you pop that in and then go and save. OK, if you have not got an SSL certificate and you didn't get it as part of your hosting provider, please look into that because no one likes a not secure website. Anyway, what you're going to do is just make sure that everything is OK on here. Make sure your language is fine. Make sure your time zone is fine as well. So go and find your time zone if this is incorrect and then hit save changes at the bottom. Then we're going to go over to the writing setting. You don't really need to do anything over here. Then we go to reading. Now, at the moment, this is not going to give you of anything of interest. But once you've created your home page or a landing page, you will get the option here now to assign that to be your home page. Let's just do it really quickly. Let's go to pages. Let's click add new. And I'm going to call it what? That. We go back over to WordPress. We then go to our settings and we go to reading and you'll now see the option is there. So we click static page and we're going to say the home page is the what page. OK, so it's not a bad thing to do this. Now, you will notice there is a facility to discourage search engines. Now, if you know it's going to take a while uh, to build the website, you might want to discourage it getting found or indexed by Google or anything else because people might come across it. Now, I do think that pe the, the chances of people coming to your website, if you've not really done a proper meta tag description and all of that is pretty slim, but you might want to tick that. I, on the other hand, like to get websites built really quickly so that we can get on, you know, the rank math, the optimization, SEO and all of that as quick as possible. So I tend to leave that. But if you want to go for it, go for it. Then we have the discussion setting over here. Comments can be a pain with spam. So if you are going to have blog posts on your website, you might want to disable or disable the facility for them to go and make comments. Now, the media setting does polarize people because not everyone likes it that I do this. But this is what I do. Zero, zero, uncheck, zero, 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 zero. And then I uncheck that. I have done this so many times. I'll even hit save changes and I've never had a problem with a WooCommerce website or a non WooCommerce or an appointment booking or websites with tons of images. I've never had a problem. If you have a problem, you might want to look into why, but I've never had a problem doing this. Why am I doing it? I don't need duplicate sized images in my media library because it goes all the way back to your WordPress database. And when you imagine an image is duplicated like four or five times, sometimes you have a small image and it automatically goes and creates a really large size when in fact you never intended it to be that big. So what's the point of it? It will eat away. And I've seen websites where the website is two gigabytes in size. The bulk of that is images. Right, then we go down to the permalink setting. I do like to go with the post name. Some people like to go with a custom structure, but I quite like the post name. The rest of the ones above here, not really good for searchability or indexing and stuff like that. 
host name is a pretty good one to go for. And then you also have the privacy option as well, whereby you're going to set a page for your privacy policy, which you would probably create as a separate page anyway, but return back to this and go and set it once you've done that. That is all you really need to do. And the only thing I'm, well, what I'm going to end on is the fact that you do obviously have to go and add in a theme if you want. You can have a child theme. I don't like to use child themes. Normally, if I'm building with bricks, I would put in a bricks uh, builder theme which is the whole page builder. If I'm working with Elemental, I'd put in the Hello theme. And my tip to you is that after you've gone and installed the theme you want to use, and now that that's activated as my main theme, I'm going to get rid of these. There's a little button with delete in the bottom right. Just get rid of it. You don't need it. Sometimes you are warned that you need to have a backup theme there. I have no I've never had the need for that. So here is just some good practice that you should do. Um, in terms of some of your settings. And now you can start to think about your optimization settings. So go and watch the PageSpeed 2023 video. The link to that will be in the video because I would say before you build your page, before you um, start, you know, you know, five, four pages along your header, your footers and all of that, get your optimization set up. So from the get go, you know that you've got a very good, well balanced, optimized website. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time for the pain. Let the grind, I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring.